So this person, what minimum investment is 800? Well, and I mean, win rate is not fantastic high either. Most of you know me as long-term investor and I seldom trade in the stock market because it generally makes me very prone to emotional mistakes. However, it doesn't mean that I am against trading. In fact, if you are good at it, I am happy for you. I also know some good friends who are pretty consistent in their own trades and they have been making good income from trading every single day. I absolutely admire their emotional control ability and their skill set for sure. But since I'm aware that I don't have the right skill set and the mindset to trade properly, I haven't been trading for the longest time. Until recently. Yes, I have decided to enter into the trading scene again, but this time leveraging on the expert level of the others. Before I go on further, the reason why I'm doing this video is because so many students have been actually asking me how can they trade to amplify gains and I really don't think I'm the best person to answer this because I seldom trade myself nowadays. However, if you're looking for a lazy way to trade, which is definitely my preferred way because I really don't like to spend hours looking at the charts, staying up until late night just to trade, that's why I decided to explore copy trading. Now, what is copy trading? According to the definition, copy trading enables individuals in the financial markets to automatically copy positions opened and managed by other experienced traders. It links a portion of the copying traders' funds to the account of the copy investor. So the question is, does it mean that you can gain investment returns without having to actively monitor all the trades by yourself? Well, it depends on who you copy. If the person you copy has a good track record and has been consistently performing well in his or own trade, then obviously the chances of you amplifying your return will be higher. On the other hand, if the trader that you copy is very new and the person doesn't even know what he or she is doing, then obviously you are going to lose money. That's why when it comes to copy trading, you also need to do your homework and make sure that the traders that you copy has a good track record, which is exactly what I'm going to go through in this video. With over 10 million clients since it was founded in 2009, XM has grown into a large and well-established international investment firm. Its extensive experience combined with support for well over 30 languages makes XM the broker of choice for traders of all levels. Advantages of trading with XM includes all this. And right now, I'm going to log in into my XM trading platform to show you exactly what is my thought process behind who are the traders to copy and you can take it as a reference for your own copy trade journey as well. So I just funded my account with 100 US dollars to test out copy trading using XM. So just like I said, the research process should be done uh, step by step to ensure that you are making sure that you are reducing your risk when it comes to trading. So what I'm going to do next is copy trading and I'm going to find a few uh, good traders for me to just copy their trades. All right, so once I come into this page, what I will do next is I want to make sure I click on this because I generally like to see based on the least view rather than just now, like just like if I click on this icon, there will be too many and I can't really see uh, how to, I can't really sort accordingly. So I like to always go to the least view and I can start to sort. So what I will generally do is I will sort by the investors. That means how many people are actually copying the trader over here. So for example, this trader has the most number of investors, 502. But in my opinion, the risk level is too high, right? So I don't want to invest in traders that are taking out super high risk, uh, it can potentially give you very good return. For example, one month return, it's 182%, but it can also, in my opinion, it can also put a lot of risk to your account and I don't want that to happen to my account. So I'm going to skip this. So on top of that, let's take a look. Oh, I think this is pretty good. Uh, 255 investors, the second highest, and the risk level is five. So even though the one month return is not as high as the previous one, I'm pretty okay with a 9.35% return. So let me click on it. And the second thing that I want to look at is uh, the amount, a uh, minimum investment. It's $100, which I think is still reasonable. Uh, it's the exact amount that I deposited into this account. And total invested so far, it's $76,000. Now, one thing I want to pay close attention is the number of win rate. So I quite like these uh, stats because it has 84% win rate, uh, 384 trades versus 71 
percent loss trade. So its lose rate it's about uh sixteen percent, uh compared to its win rate eighty four percent, which I think is pretty decent. And if you can see the performance over here, uh, although there are certain dips, but it has been quite consistently going up over the past, uh, since March this year. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can also see the returns and investors. So over here, that is the uh, return that this trader has been getting. Pretty decent, at least everything uh, that I see right now is positive. And this is for this year, 2024. If I go to 2023 last year, uh, where September, when September is the first month that uh, the trader started. And so far, since September, all the way until now, it's everything positive. So for the past um, nine months, it's been consistently positive, which I think is definitely a good sign. So this is one of the trader that I would like to keep in mind. I'm just going to start this so that... Um, yeah, I can shortlist him as one of the potential trader. And the second person that I will continue to scroll down a little bit more, let me just sort again by the number of investors. So I saw this. Okay, this person, Storm Strategy, with um, five risk, uh, five level of risk and 11%. Let me take a look. So Storm Strategy, um, in terms of its uh, win trade, is 73% versus 27%. Not too bad. Um, and however, the minimum investment is 175, which is a little bit uh more than my budget. So yeah, even though it does look quite decent in terms of the win rate, and um, well, the track record also a little bit short, in my opinion, only since December, so it's about six, seven months, not as many months as compared to the previous trader. So not my ideal choice. I'm just going to go back. Let me just see more and uh, see whether I can find more good candidate before deciding where to put my money. Okay, so this one I'm going to definitely skip because just too high risk for me. Ah, now let's take a look at this. 198 investors and uh, risk level is two. Okay. The past one month is negative. Let's take a look at uh, the track record because the past one month can be negative, but if it has been consistently okay, 30% mm, uh, lose rate versus 70%. Mm, looks not like super, super fantastic. And um, there are certain months that he did not even trade, maybe went for a holiday. So, well, seven months positive versus two months negative. And definitely not something that I would like to consider as top choice. Let me just find some more. Okay, over here. So just now I saw this person. How about Gary Holding Pro? Okay, 130 investors, two in terms of risk. And let's take a look. Over here. So this person, what? Minimum investment is 800. Mm. Well, and I mean, win rate is not fantastic high either. Okay, no. I'm going to skip this. So, so far, I only see one pretty decent candidate. Let's see whether I'm able to find more. Uh, this person is six. Okay, anything above five, I'm not very comfortable with. So, I'm just going to skip anything above five. So, two, once again, there's a two autopilot here. And uh, one month return 9.67%, not too bad. And minimum is 100. Great. Now, the trade. One is 68% versus 32%, which is slightly not as ideal as the previous one, the first one I saw. Um, nevertheless, the consistency, pretty decent as well. Similar to the first candidate since September for this person is since October. Well, not too bad. Uh, however, I will still feel that the previous person is slightly better. Okay, so, well, I will still shortlist this, this person. Let me just shortlist um, three to see at the end of the day, which uh, is the person of which are the traders that I want to copy. And now uh, let me stop back again. So let's take a look more profit full. Okay, seven now skip. Okay, this one, FX lady price. Okay, so this person apparently is probably not a person because it looks like a computer. It looks looks like a bot. So, um, well, uh, yeah, this is based on algorithm on Forex. So um, the good thing about XM is it offers you a bot uh, 
algorithm versus real trader that you want to copy. So it really depends on you. Nevertheless, you can see that this bot has been quite consistent in winning 78% won uh, versus 22% lost. And um, yeah, the minimum investment account amount is only $50, even lesser than the first person I saw. And in terms of the return has been pretty decent. Um, well, however, they only have for this year. So that means it's probably only started since the beginning of the year. So the track record is not as long as the previous, the first candidate, but not bad. Okay, I'm going to shortlist this. This is my choice number two right now. Let me just go and find two more to see whether do I have more ideal candidates. So based on this, I think I have shortlisted a few. Yes, there you go. So under my watch list, I have three candidates right now. And I think that, um, well, actually in terms of the return wise, they're quite close to each other. One good thing about this person is the minimum is 50. However, the track record is a little bit short, uh, which is, yeah, only six months. So ideally, I will prefer something longer than six months. So I will probably just skip this. Autopilot for this person, um, pretty decent. The win rate is 68%. Now let's take a look at the first person. I think the first person generally have a higher win rate. Wow, actually, actually it's quite high as compared to the second candidate just now. So this is 84%. And I think I'm quite happy with its track record of uh, since September last year. So I am just going to go for him instead. So I'm just going to copy his strategy. And uh, fees-wise, it's also very reasonable, only 5% fees. Um, and this is the second highest follow trader based on XM right now. So I am just going to copy strategy. And da, 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 all right, okay. Just going to acknowledge that. And yes, copy. So investment amount, because minimally, yes, minimally is 100, right? So I can only do 100. And... Okay, this is a part I kind of need to ask my boyfriend for help. So should I be take should I set take profit and stop loss? It, it, you're doing copy trading, right? Copy trading. Okay, yeah. so all right, so huh, investment. Okay, all right. No, it means that you don't do any stop loss to take profit. Okay, you just copy whatever he does. So when he's the stop loss, you ultimately do stop loss. If he take profit, you also also do you take profits. Okay, so I'm just going to just split these two. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to click copy. All right, so copy successfully. Okay, so next, okay, when I go to my portfolio right now, you can see that my investment on 100, um, it's already been active. So I think right now I just can't do much. Basically, I already invested 100 with him and let's see how it turns out to be. So in the meantime, I will definitely keep you updated a few days later when I see how uh, the trip pans out. One week later. It's been exactly one week since I first initiated my first copy trade. And remember, I actually invested $100 with that trader. And right now, my account is 101.28. So that means I made about $1 plus in the past one week. Of course, the amount doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about it, I put in 100 bucks and right now it's $101. So that means I literally make about 1% plus in just one week. Pretty impressive. And if you actually analyze it, use 1.28% times 52 weeks, that is over 50 plus percent return. But of course, uh, the consistency of the trader matters. So right now for the past one week, the trader has been pretty consistent in making profits. I can see that every single trade that he takes, um, it's actually making money. Uh, of course, there are certain times that the trades might not be making money immediately. However, uh, over time, I can see every single trades is basically positive and positive. So I think it's pretty good. So will you consider copy trading? Let me know in the comment section below. You can also consider opening your account with XM today. All you need to do is click on the link below in the description box to get started. Also make sure you do your due diligence in selecting the right traders to copy so that you can minimize your risk and increase your return safely. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and also watch this video over here where I share with you exactly how I managed to have my first million at the age of 33 and how I'm able to retire with a million dollar portfolio. I will see you in the next video. 
ありがとう。